What's going on everybody? So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about heap in Python. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to check my personal website, nearlyblog.com. There are a lot of um, coding projects and articles which might be helpful to you. All right, so uh, the first question might be, what is heap? So personally, I have two definitions for it. One is heap is actually kind of data structure, just like um, list, array, and dictionary. On the other hand, heap is also a kind of binary um, tree. So I would like to give a very brief introduction about binary tree here. So for binary tree, uh, each parent node has at most two children nodes. And for heap, it actually has two types. Uh, first is max heap, and that is main heap. So for the main heap, the parent node value should be smaller than all its children. So for example, if here is one, um, then all its children, these three child children's value should be greater or equal than this. Otherwise, it does not satisfy uh, the condition. All right, so here I would like to give a demonstration about heap. So first initialize Python. And I'm going to import uh, the library in Python, which is called heapq. So here I will have a list already defined here. And to heap, uh, to perform heap to this array, what you need to do is uh, first call the library's name, then heapify this array. So Let's have a look on uh, what's going on to the function here. So previously, this is 5, 7, 9, 1, 3. All right. So uh, these can be put in sequence, just like this, in binary uh, trace sequence. All right. So it will, start a, it will start checking from the very first node, 5 here, which is the root node here, and all, to, all the way to the bottom. And do the iteration again and again until it finds it finds um, the the outcome for the current situation is identical to the previous array. Then it will just stop there. So let's have a brief demonstration on it. Right. So first, it will compare five and seven and nine. Since five is smaller than both seven and nine, it will just um, skip to seven here, and. 7 compares to 1 and 3, since 7 is larger than both children, therefore 7 needs to be swapped with a smaller uh, child. And here 1 is the smallest one, so 1 will be swapped with 7. And uh, it will do it again, alright? So you will see 5 compared to 1 and 9. 1 is smaller than 5, therefore 1 will be swapped with 5. And uh, 5 will compare to 7 and 3. 3 is smaller than 5. So 3 will be swapped with 5. And uh, uh, in the next iteration, it will just find that everything is fine and it won't change at all. Then, therefore, it just stops here. And this will be um, the same to our result here. And that is fine. And next, I would like to talk about. Um, a function called heap push. So if you put a um, push function here, then there are two items. The first is the array which we're uh, going to push this uh, value to, and the second input item here is the value which is four here. All right, let's take a look. So I'll explain what does this function do um, again. So here, uh, we have panel 4 here. So what does push means is it will push an item, a value, to the current tree and perform the, uh, the previous tracking algorithm again. So you can see 1 is more than 3 and 9, and 3 is more than 7 and 5, then comes to 9 here. However, 9 is smaller, uh, 9 is greater than 4. Therefore, 4 will be swapped with 9. And uh, in the next iteration, you will find, okay, nothing changes. And it will just stop there. And therefore, the outcome should be 1, 3, 4, 7, 5, and 9 here. And 
for the next um, function I would like to talk about is pop. So pop only takes one input, which is the array. So what does pop do? Is it will just simply pop the root um, node of the tree or uh, the first element uh, of this array here uh, and return it and perform a um, the previous uh, checking algorithm again. So here, since the root node has been raised, then it will only compare three and four here. So three is more than four, therefore three will be moved to the top. Probably change another color here. And once three has been um, moved to the top, then here is empty, right? And therefore it needs to find a smaller uh, child value to um, and put to this um, position. Therefore, 5 is smaller than 7, and 5 will be placed here. So, uh, in the next iteration, you'll compare 3 is more than 4, 5 and 4, 5. 5 is more than 7, and 4 is smaller than 9, so nothing changes. And therefore, this will be the final situation. And let's take a look at this. So, it will be 3, 5, 4, 7, and 9. Okay, it's perfect. So next, I would like to give you a question, which is, once I perform this hip push again to this uh, list, and I, for example, I give a value of 10, what would be the outcome for this list? Would it be 3, 5, 4, 7, 10, 9, or 3, 5, 4, 7, 9, 10? And, uh, Let's take a look. So it will be 9 and 10. And why? This is because currently this um, array is 3, 5, 4, 7, and 9. And once it is taken as an input to another push function, and uh, by default, this 9 would not be placed there. Instead, it would be just placed here. Sorry, it is 9. And therefore, once you push 10 here, you just push here. And the sequence will be like this, all right? Okay, so next I would like to talk about another function, which is called push pop. So for example, I'll give another three. So push pop is actually a combination between push and pop. So it will first push an item, uh, which is three here, to this array. and uh, Next, it will pop this top value and do the sorting um, algorithm again. So if you see the output here, it is exactly the same to the previous one. This is because it just, you know, um, pop a value and push a new three here. So um, this array doesn't change. So what are the other implementations for heap? So heap can be used for the heap um, sorting. So there are many other sorting methods, for example, uh, quick sort, bob sort, um, and also binary sort. And heap sort is uh, another way. So what does heap sort do is basically um, to do the pop each time, all right? So it will first pop three here, and the three will be removed, and four will be put there, and next ten will be put there, all right? So it's just like this, and uh, it will just do it iteratively until all elements are being um, pushed out. So uh, if interesting, I will append a link to a um, to a legal solution which uh, to a legal question that uses heap to solve uh, the problem, and that that is very amazing. Or right, I think this is the end for the heap. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in other tutorials.